Hello. Welcome to Rick's Kids. My name is Rick. And this is my build. Hi guys, welcome back to my build. So here we have the 124th Ford Mustang GT4. Um, being done in the Tuskegee Airmen colour schemes. Because I fancied it doing it that way. So this is just a small update giving you an idea of how far we've got. So... A uh, bit of a mock up. See, I've got the um, roll cage I'm assembling at the moment. Uh, so far, so good. No absolute issues whatsoever. The uh, body's sitting a little bit low, but that's because there's nothing inside to um, support all the weight of the body. So it's sitting on top of the top of the wheels. Um, the one thing I didn't or I'm still wondering about is whether the red on the tyres is pretty much red for the car. I mean, we've got the you know, a nice shiny red nose here. You'll see it all all inside the car. And TS12 natural metal finish. The red is TS29 bright red. Um, pink. The wheels do go because it continues the flow of the uh, paint dynamics on the car. So you've got the red bumper coming into the red wheel and then you've got the red rear end coming into the red rear wheel. I think it sort of holds it there. Uh, there's going to be some side skirts down here that I'm either going to do the line, body line that runs across here, yellow, or the side skirt down the bottom, yellow. Um, the moment I'm thinking of the side skirt down the bottom in yellow. Uh, we're going to have red door handles and red wing mirrors. We've got um, light metallic grey or light gun metal, which will be just sit that on the on the top of the hood. Will be um, the body colour that's in there. I was going to put the green, the anti-glare panel like on the aircraft across the top, but I don't know, I'm still humming and ahhing about that. But that's, that's where we're at at the moment. Uh, I haven't done any uh, finishing on the bodywork at all yet. Obviously the decals need to go down. Um, but we... Let's take that wing off. We are sort of complete on the bottom. Got a few little touch-ups to do. The body will come off. So on the, we've got to take these tyres back off and get rid of this beam line. Uh, but we've still got the rear diffuser and the front. I suppose it's a diffuser or or whatever it is, we've got the partial engine in the front here, exhaust systems in, uh, uh, excuse me, gloss suspension. Uh, what I did do with uh, the exhaust is to put a little bit of blue staining for burning. Let's see if we can just to focus in a little bit easier. We got a little bit of uh, looks a bit more silver actually than anything, but a bit of blue staining on there represent the heat staining. Uh, all the suspensions in there. Yeah, that's currently where it is at. Uh, I'm quite happy with the way it's going. But one thing I do want to know because I want to get quite a nice finish to the actual motor. When it's when it's done, bodywork's not been prepped for any sort of clear coat. What clear coat would you use? Is my first question, and my second question is to get that clear coat, a nice shiny gloss. Would you rub down, or wet sand shall I say, everything first? 
in clear gloss and decal and gloss and wet sand and polish or decal up gloss wet sand polish please let me know in the, down below because I'm, I'm struggling with what I would do on on how to get around that sort of finish. Anyway, that's the update. Stay tuned. Uh, thank you, all my subscribers. I'm nearly at the 200 mark, so I'm very, very, very pleased to have you guys aboard supporting my channel. I really do appreciate this. And uh, stay safe, everyone. We'll get a potential final towards the end of the week, ending on the answers that I get for. Dealing with the top coat on the vehicle. Anyway, there you go. There's your update. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a little bit more. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye for now.